the news which i'm going to share with you in this video is quite exciting especially if you're looking for an alternate from china to nvidia the release of the lizuan g100 a new high-end consumer gpu developed in china represents a pivotal development in the global gpu market particularly in the context of ai workloads local model inference and the long-standing dominance of nvidia this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel if this is the first time you are visiting the channel please like the video and subscribe as it helps a lot while early benchmarks show that the g100 outperforming the nvidia's geforce rtx 4060 in opencl and nearly matching the upcoming rtx 5060 its significance goes beyond raw performance in this video not only i'm going to tell you all about its specifications but i am also going to give you a comparison with nvidia's gpu card which it is being so competitive and i'm quite hopeful there this is the first time a domestically developed Chinese GPU has reached performance levels comparable to current mid-range offerings from NVIDIA, marking a major leap from just a few years ago when Chinese GPUs struggled to match decade-old hardware like the GTX 660 Ti and we have talked a lot about that on the channel. Now this new GPU card is built on SMIX 6NM process using deep UV lithography despite restrictions on access to EUV tools. The G100 features 12 GPU of VRAM, likely GDDR6, 48 compute units and a peak clock speed of 2000 MHz which is quite huge. They have given some information on their website and I have gleaned it after translating it. These specifications place it firmly in the mainstream gaming and more importantly for us local AI inference category. For users running models locally via frameworks like Llama.cpp, the combination of 12 GB VRAM and improved driver support makes a G100 a potentially viable option, especially if software optimization continue to progress. While it doesn't yet support CUDA, which remains the backbone of most AI development tools and it's a blocker, I acknowledge, but alternative compute APIs such as Vulkan and OpenCL are gaining traction in China. And this is still not that very well known, but I am hearing that they are developing some abstraction layers. So, and that could be out in the upcoming months and I'm not talking about years. There are also indications that Chinese firms are developing their own CUDA equivalent such as MUSA from Moore Threads and I have covered it on the channel and that could eventually support open source AI inference pipelines if properly maintained and adopted. One of the most critical aspects of this development is a broader market impact and NVIDIA has maintained a near monopoly in the high performance GPU space for years and years, particularly in AI and data center applications. This dominance has allowed for high pricing, limited competition and slow generational improvements in value for consumers. The RTX 4060, for example, has been criticized for its 8 GB or 16 GB variants, narrow memory bus and high cost relative to performance especially for users interested in running local LLMs where VRAM capacity and bandwidth are crucial. The emergence of credible alternatives like the Lizuan G100 introduces much much needed competition which could pressure NVIDIA and of course AMD and of course the Intels of this world to improve price to performance ratios, increasing VRAM offerings and accelerate innovations. Looking at the hardware landscape more closely, here is a comparison of the Lee Shuan G100 with current and expected NVIDIA GPUs relevant to both gaming, gaming and AI workloads. If you look at this table, this shows that while the G100 currently sits between 
the RTX 4060 and RTX 5060 in synthetic compute performance. It lacks the ecosystem support and power efficiency of NVIDIA's offerings, but its 12 GB VRAM gives it an edge over the base 4060 model. And if future iterations reach 16 GB or more, it could become a serious contender for users running larger language models locally. The key limitation remains software without robust support for AI frameworks. The hardware alone won't drive adoption. But given the rapid progress in driver development, evidenced by Moore Threads Musa driver improving performance by over 100% since launch, there is reason to believe Chinese GPU firms can close this gap. Another important factor is cost. It's a huge factor, I totally acknowledge. If the G100 or similar GPUs are priced significantly lower, with, and the estimate is just US dollar 150 and 200, US dollar just between that. It could really, really disrupt markets where budget constraints limit access to AI technology. Just imagine 12 GB VRAM for just 150 US dollars. It's a bargain at the moment. In developing regions, internet cafes and education sectors, affordable GPUs with decent AI capabilities could enable wider access to generative models, coding tools, and creative applications. And this actually, <clears throat> uh, I was thinking that mirrors what happened in the SST market where Chinese NAND production helped drive down global prices. A similar effect in GPUs could make local AI more accessible, reducing reliance on cloud services and of course improving latency and privacy all around. Power efficiency and thermal design for this are still unknown. There is some skepticism I could uh, you know, see you know, whether G100 can match NVIDIA's efficiency, especially given SMIC's process limitation, and that is not a small deal. I think they need to improve it. But even if it consumes more power, its value proposition may still hold in markets where electricity costs are low or where raw compute availability outweighs efficiency concern. Now, I have to touch upon this geopolitical context. Um, U.S. export controls on advanced GPUs and semiconductor tools were intended to slow China's AI progress. Instead, they appear to have accelerated domestic innovation by forcing self-reliance. The same patterns, pattern is visible in EVs, batteries, and solar technology. China identifies strategic dependencies and mobilizes state and industrial resources to overcome them. The G100 is likely just a beginning. With sustained investment and a focus on both hardware and software, Chinese GPU market could reach or even surpass mid-tier offerings from NVIDIA and AMD within the ne next maybe one to two years. For consumers, the benefits are very, very clear. More competition means better prices, improved features, and faster innovation. NVIDIA's current pricing strategy where high-end GPUs like the 4090 cost over 1500 to 2000 US dollars if you can get them it is only sustainable in the absence of real competition the entry of credible lower cost alternatives could force a re-evaluation of product positioning which could lead to more vram better efficiency and lower entry barriers for ai development so look I think this new Lizuan G100 is not just another GPU. It's a signal of shifting dynamics in the global semiconductor industry. While it may not replace NVIDIA card in high-end AI labs or gaming rigs today, it represents a credible step towards diversification in a market long dominated by a single player. So over time, with improved drivers, ecosystem support, and a manufacturing scale, these developments could lead to a more open, competitive, and accessible AI hardware landscape, one where consumers finally have real choices beyond the current oligopoly. And I am uh, I have made up that word, but I know that you know what I mean. I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at Camel. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws and you will find their link in video's description. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.